Good afternoon guys. So today I'm going to be testing the Yard Force 40 volt lawn mower. And we bought this from Amazon yesterday, next day delivery, um, which I'm quite shocked at with the size of the box. But um, I've left a link to the one we bought below. If you do like this video and you are going to buy this, would really appreciate you buying it through the link. Um, I might just get a couple of pounds from Amazon. It'd be nice for them to give something back to me. So I'm going to give you an honest review today. This is a lawnmower we've bought. Let me give you a little bit of background. We have always had petrol lawnmowers. We've got a lawn somewhere around 500 meters squared, I think. Maybe we check that. And petrol lawnmowers drive me crazy. Either it's too heavy for my wife to do, there's a little bit of a slope on our lawn, or we run out of fuel and we forget or something needs doing on it and it just doesn't quite work, it's quite old. So we took the plunge and we decided to go electric. So let's start by taking a look around the lawnmower. We'll check out the lawn where we're mowing and then we'll see what job it does. Because our lawnmower's broke, the lawn that we're mowing today it's pretty atrocious, so we really will get to test how this performs. So this is it. Um, relatively easy to assemble. You put the handle on, there's very little more to it. It comes with the, this is the box, excuse the mess. It comes with a massive charging block. I mean, it's, it's huge and quite a large battery. Um, we've put it together. Battery just sits in there. I think I did play with it a little bit, so it's saying that it's three quarters full, but it will give us a good indication of how this works today. Um, but maybe not how long the battery lasts, but we'll see. Um, and it's it's light, you can pick this up with one hand. I question the durability. We've we've always had petrol lawnmowers, so they are really heavy, really well built. So we'll see how this performs. Um, on top of the lawnmower, it's got single lever to adjust it, seven settings. Um, I've no idea why you need so many settings, but uh, we, I'll show you the lawn now. Um, but what we'll likely do is um, trim this probably at quite a high level. You'll see why. Hold up. So this is what I'm up against this afternoon. I'd say at points this is 8 inches, maybe 12 inches long. Um, it's been growing for a couple of weeks and as you can see the weather is beautiful here. Combine that with the thunderstorms we've had over the last 24 hours, I swear it's doubled in length in that period alone. But we're going to give it a go. Like I say, I've got to do it on the highest length because it will clog up even our petrol mower. Um, but I'll set this up on the time lapse and we'll see how it performs. To operate the lawnmower is dead easy. Just on the side there's literally a little button, hold that in pull the lever and that's it. There's nothing else to it. That's your on and you're off and that gets us going. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. Yeah, all I need are some better days. Cause all I want and I pray, I believe in the better days. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. Yeah, all I need are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray, I believe in the better days So let me give you my thoughts so far It cuts really well, really, really well But on a lawn this long, it's hard work It's easy to push, it's definitely faster than its petrol guards But the counterparts, you don't want to wait for the speed of the self-propelled petrol ones I thought it would be more difficult because I've got to push it myself But it's not, it's easier the basket's too small. I think if you have a lawn you keep on top of, you're doing it twice a week, it's gonna be perfect. And we're gonna carry on trying. The battery was only half full when we started. I've done probably 250, 300 square meters um, today. So I'm gonna see how long the battery takes to charge and maybe we'll do some more. A couple of points I need to add. One, on the time lapse you'll see me stop constantly. I have great neighbors and Gotta go and say hello. Two, I've just watched the time lapse back and it really doesn't do the length of the grass justice. So let me show you what I'm up against. This is what we're trying to cut. Okay guys, another day and another go at this. I don't think I ended the last section of this video happy with this lawnmower. 
but I think I might have been unfair. I was all ready to send it back, if I'm honest, but the lawn was really long, and I've got to take that into consideration. So I'm going to have a go at our front garden. It's the next day, battery's fully charged, and this is a more realistic of how re realistic test of how I'll use this in the future. So let me show you the lawn. So this is still long, but it's not that bad. Yeah, there's some weeds in there, and there's some long bits, but this is very much a much more normal test. So we've got this lawn to do, so I'm going to give that a go now, and I'll report back after. I am quite hot now, but that was a game changer. It's so much quicker than a petrol lawn mower because it's so light, you don't have to go at the speed of the mower. You can just go as quick as you want. I'm shocked how quick the blade spins. It seems no matter how fast you go, it keeps up. Just paced out the lawn, and I think it's somewhere around 140-ish square meters. Um, the mower says on the box it should do 400. Let's check the battery. So the battery on the inside's got this cool little indicator light on. And that's now saying it's still three quarters full. Sorry, I can't get my fingers out of the way there. I think all of my disappointment from the other day was based around predominantly with my laziness. Um, I'm gonna drop the height on this and go over it again, um, just to see how it does. So that's about 140 meter lawn done twice. I've just had a look at the battery and let me show you. I can get my finger in there. It's still on 50%. I have no doubt it will do the 400 meters. The only thing I'd say is I've done that quite quickly. Um, I don't think you're limited, as I said before, by the, the speed of the mower. Um, you can pretty much go as quickly as you want. Also wasn't collecting the grass then, but I've just done a 150 meter square, square meter lawn in about eight minutes. So it's uh, obviously the quicker you go, the longer the battery will last and the more lawn you can cut. So, final thoughts on the Yard Force 40 volt, 37 centimetre mower. Should you buy it? Yes. But, bear in mind its limitations. Petrol has its conveniences. If you've got petrol, you don't have to stop. You need to be careful that you buy the right size electric lawnmower for your garden, otherwise you're going to end up buying extra batteries, which is a possibility. I checked that out, that out for this lawnmower, and an additional battery is £60, so you could go that route. For me, the positives outweigh the negatives, so let me talk through the negatives. The basket isn't as big on the back, the grass collector, I wish it was. Um, I think if it was a tiny bit bigger, more akin to my petrol mower, I'd obviously have to empty it less, but that said, it's outweighed by the speed. You're not limited to the speed of the mower. You can cut at your own speed, and I never managed when I was out there to find the limit of the lawnmower. The blade spins that quickly, then no matter how fast you walk, it keeps up, and because it's so, so, so light, um, you can go really quick. Um, I'm quite warm now, as you can probably tell. I think, and I've not tested other electric or, or cordless lawn mowers, but I do think it's a good product. I really do. I didn't have any issues. It worked well. It gets great reviews on Amazon, um, which is the main reason we bought it. Um, I don't have any faults with the mower. I think the only thing that is a slight concern is make sure you get one that's big enough for your garden or be prepared to buy the extra battery. For comparison, I'm going to stick with it, definitely. I found it much easier to mow the lawn, it felt cleaner, felt easier, it's much lighter, much faster, and I feel like it's more convenient. It doesn't feel a chore to get the mower out of the garage, walk it across the courtyard where we live, prime the mower, fill it with petrol, start the mower, walk at its pace. It's heavy to turn around, we have a slope in our back garden, this is far better for slopes. So all in all, yeah, it's, for me it's a recommendation. Go for it, just be conscious of your lawn size. I think. Realistically, they say 400 meters mowing square meters mowing at a normal pace. I'd recommend probably maximum of three. But if you're willing to go quite quickly, I think you'll easily smash 400 meters. So go for it. If you do buy it, 
and it's not me pushing at all. This is not a sponsored video in any way, shape or form. There is a link down the bottom where I might get a couple of pound um, to make up for having to embarrass myself on YouTube. Drop me a like and subscribe and thanks for watching guys.